What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and today I'm going to be continuing on with the V-Ray tutorials. This is the second part and if you haven't checked the first uh, part out, so uh, I'm going to be leaving the link in the, de the description of this video. So there I've shown you how to how to basically download the free version for 30 days, the 30 day trial and how to install it on your computer and just a basic overview how to do simple renderings and what are some of the benefits of using V-Ray over the, the, the generic uh, rendering engine within Revit. But anyway, uh, before I get started with this interior rendering tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media, I will be posting there every day now. Okay, so we're going to be doing a, a nighttime rendering as well as a daylight rendering and in the nighttime render, rendering we're of course going to be turning on some artificial lighting. And this is just the project that I'm going to be using and let's do some basic setup. So first here I am in the V-Ray tab, so this is what you get when you install the, install the V-Ray program. And now, uh, first, uh, we're going to set up the current view. It's currently set up to the 3D view, so just make sure to set it up to the same view you have opened up, which is in this case a 3D view 5. So I'm just going to go over here and set this to 3D view 5. Next thing we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be going over here and make sure that the uh, artificial lights are off and that the, the V-Ray sun is on. And now we can start the basic rendering process with the interactive rendering which allows us to kind of see everything alive and make some changes along the way. So anyway, so here uh, the rendering is starting, so let me just move this out of the way. Let's wait for a second. Okay, so it's rendering the scene right now, but we want to actually kind of uh, uh, make some changes to the setup. So first let's change the sun angle. So I'm just going to be going, okay, where's the mouse? Okay, so I'm just going to be going over here to the sun settings and open up the sun settings. Wait for a second. Yeah, this will usually slow your computer way down. Okay, and let me just change this from a uh, maybe from a still to just the lighting and then we can change this to something like 15 degrees and uh, hit apply and OK. So now this will update immediately and to speed that update up you can just close this rendering engine and then it will immediately re restart again on its own. Just wait for a second, yeah, and it will make the updates. So uh, now the good thing about uh, rendering in V-Ray as far as these uh, sh uh, renderings with the sunlight, all of these shadows that you have over here, uh, Revit tends to render them quite sharp. Uh, it creates sharp shadows, but V-Ray allows you to change that and make these shadows a bit softer, so it won't probably be quite realistic, but it will look nice. So you can go over here and go to the V-Ray Sun and open this dialog up and just wait for a second. Yeah, let's open it up over here. And here for the sun size, I'm just going to change this to from 2 to 10, which will actually just dramatically change the size of the sun. And if I close out of this, as you can see now it's updating and the edges of the shadows are actually quite soft, softer, as you can see over here. But anyway, once this is completed, uh, now we can uh, do additional settings. I also like to change this from a V-Ray Sun to something different called Dome Light. So I've talked about this in the uh, last tutorial. It's quite cool. It actually allows you to take an image. Okay, it's on the second monitor. Let me just drag it over here. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is significantly slowing down my computer. So if I turn on this HDR, it actually uses this image that we have over here and it uses this to, to take the light from this image and cast light upon your rendering. And let me just cancel out of this rendering and then it will restart again using this image over here. And as you can see now we've got a lot of these oranges and pinkish and yellowish colors and it makes everything look 
a lot nicer and it also changes the shadows up a bit so make sure to to take that into consideration when using this okay so once we're done with this let's try a, a night rendering with artificial lighting so let me just close this off close this off and close this rendering engine come on okay and now let's let's just open everything up yeah let's turn this off okay so oh no 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 turn it off okay so what we're going to be doing now is I'm just going to be showing you how to turn on, on these lights and to do that you go here for the artificial lights and you just turn them on and to turn off the the sun okay this keeps turning back on okay and to turn on the sun you need to open up this uh, dome light option and just switch it to no light so just hit no light over here and let's move this out of the way for a second and let's hit render and it's already rendering so you can just go here uh, hi uh, show hide frame buffer and it will open up the rendering but as you can see it's quite dark so to change that you need to go here to the exposure option open this up and wait for a second okay here it is so once you've opened this up you need to change the exposure it says right now as you can see over here sunshine uh, but you need to move this all the way up here to bright interior and now it will automatically update the rendering or okay here it is it's updating so now you're getting this very bright rendering from uh, from V-Ray and that's pretty much it as far as uh, setting up the interior renderings for both uh, artificial lights as well as regular sunlight and in tomorrow's tutorial I'm going to be showing you one more option that I absolutely love about uh, about V-Ray in Revit and that's how uh, V-Ray affects uh, materials that have their own uh, light casting properties so that's quite cool you can create some signature families or signs that glow like those neon glowing signs okay so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and